do it like this, he goes, his eye. No, make sure you face each other. And facing each other because the questions I ask of you, the answers to the questions, the statements I have you make are not for me and not for your witnesses. It's for each of you. So I'll be talking, looking at each other. And Carrie, you're not holding his hands, keep him from running because I locked the door. <laughs> Just kidding, Jason. The door not locked, okay? You getting married? Hang on. So by authority vested in me by law and by virtue of the marriage license, we are here to celebrate the rights of matrimony and join Carrie and Jason in holy wedlock. Questions for each of you. Jason asking you first. But I ask that you wait to the end of all the questions. Then you answer all of them with one answer to her. Carrie, when I ask you the question, I'm going to change some words on you. Husband and wife, man and woman, him and her. So, Jason, about this woman. You take Carrie to be your lawful wedded wife. You promise to love, honor, protect, and cherish her in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live. Your answer. Gary, we got him halfway there. So we ask you about this man. Do you take Jason to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to love, honor, protect, and cherish him in sickness and in health as long as you both shall live? Answer to him. I do. Now, Carrie and Jason, the rings that you're about to give and receive are the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace. And the ring symbolizes and tells everyone that you're joined together in holy wedding. Tells everybody in Texas and Maryland. I do explain to all my couples that those rings are symbols of just that. Those are material things, and that's not what the marriage is about. Marriage is right here. It's about two people together. How you feel about each other, how you treat each other, and how you all present each other family and friends. It always has been and always will be, regardless of what time or distance separates the two of you, the love and feeling of one for the other. So, Jason, if you'll take the ring that you have for her, Slide it on the proper finger on that hand. Show it to the camera. There you go. And then while holding her hand, repeat it for me, talking to her. I, Jason, take you care. I, Jason, take you care. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And Carrie, take the ring you have for him. Slide it on the proper finger on that hand. Show it to the camera. There you go. Carrie, <laughs> <coughs> repeat after me. I, Carrie, take you, Jason. I, Carrie, take you, Jason. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. Richer or for poor. Richer or for poor. From this day forward. From this day forward. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Carrie and Jason, inasmuch you both agreed to live together in holy matrimony, and by your coming here today, you pledged your love and faith in one another. By the giving and receiving the symbol, which is a ring, repeating the words of wedding vows to each other, and the joining of your hands, symbolizing the joining of the two of you in the one family. By authority vested in me by law as Justice of Peace for the County of Bell State of Texas, it's my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife, wife and husband, whom God and law has joined together. Let no one put us under. You've got to kiss him now. <laughs> takes about four weeks. Now, let me tell you, if anybody wants a copy, let them make and keep their own. Hang on to one of the originals. This one is a Social Security form. Before you go to their office, I'd suggest you make a copy of that because they're going to take this away from you. Jason.